Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to prove the addition formula for cosine. Remember that the cosine of a plus b is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a sine b. So how do we prove that? Well there's an ingenious method. Let's say we have a unit circle right here and let's say we have the angle a and the angle b and also the angle minus b. So we have one, two, three, four points here on the unit circle. We have the point right here we have the point right there, which is defined by the cosine of a and the sine of a as the coordinates of that point. Since if we add a plus b together, that means that here the coordinates of this is the cosine of a plus b and the sine of a plus b, simply adding those two together. And since there's a negative angle right here, this would be the cosine of negative b and the sine of negative b. Of course, we also know that this can also be written as the cosine of b and minus the sine of b, like that because the cosine of a negative angle is the same as the cosine of a positive angle and with the sine we simply have to put a negative in front of it to set it equal to each other. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a chord. We're going to draw a line from this point to this point and a line from this point to this point. And notice that since the angle a plus b here is the same as the angle a plus the negative b right here this angle here must be the same as this angle there. That means the length of those co two chords must be the same. And we can find the length of those chords by using the distance formula. Remember that if we have something like this on the xy axis, two points of the xy axis, and we connect them with a line, and this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2, we can find the distance d is equal to the square root of the sums of the squares of the difference between the x and the y values of those two points. In other words, we could say this is x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. We're going to use the same principle here. Instead of using x1 and x2, y1 and y2, we're going to find the coordinate points of the points here. All right, so let's find the distance of this line right here. So that means that uh, the line 1, that would be equal to the square root of the, dis the difference in the x value squared. So there's the x value cos a plus b, and there's the x value right there, 1. So we take the cosine of a plus b minus 1 quantity squared. So that's the same thing as what I have over there. I have the difference in the x values quantity squared, and I add to that the difference of the y value. So it would be this minus this right here. So that would be plus, we have the sine of a plus b minus 0 quantity squared. Of course, we don't have to write minus 0, but I just did, so to make it uh, visible as to what we're doing here. So that would be the distance for this chord, and I'm going to take the distance of this chord, and since I know that they must be of equal length, I can set them equal to each other. So this is equal to the square root of the difference in the x values between these two right here, so that would be the cosine of a minus the cosine of b quantity squared, so that would be the cosine of a minus the cosine of b quantity squared plus the difference in the y values and that would be the sine of a minus minus the sine of b so negative times negative makes that a positive so it's sine of a plus sine of b so it would be sine of a plus sine of b quantity squared so now I have the two lengths of those two chords set equal to each other I can now simply square both sides to get rid of the radical. So I can write this now as the cosine of a plus b minus 1 squared plus the sine squared of a plus b is equal to, I have the cosine of a minus the cosine of b quantity squared plus the sine of a plus the sine of b quantity squared. So now what we need to do is simply square everything out, see what we get. So when we square everything, we get the following. We get the cosine square of a plus b. Uh, these two multiply times two, so minus two times the cosine of a plus b plus one squared, which is simply one, so that's this binomial squared, plus the sine squared of a plus b equals, on the right side, we end up with squaring this, so we have the cosine square of a minus 2 times the cosine a cosine b 
plus the cosine square of b plus, and I'm out of room, I'll just continue like this, multiply this out so we have the sine square of a plus 2 times the, co the oop, not the cosine, 2 times the sine a times the sine of b plus the sine squared of b. All right, now we have a big mess. Apparently it looks like a big mess, but don't panic here because as you can see, there's a lot of simplification here. We have the cosine square of a plus b plus the sine square of a plus b. We know that that adds up to 1, so we can just add these two together and add that to this. That gives us 2 on the, on the left side, so we end up with a minus 2 times the cosine of a plus b plus 1 plus another one, so that would be plus 2 equals and let me draw a big line here so I don't get that confused there. Now on the right side, notice we have a cosine square of a and a sine square of a. So add these two together, that gives me 1. And do I have anything else like that? Uh, a cosine square of b plus a sine square of b. So these combine to 1 and those combine to 1. So let me just draw little circles around it. So that combines and becomes 1. This combines and becomes 1, so that would be 2. So on the right side, I end up with 2 minus... 2 times the cosine of a times the cosine of b plus 2 times the sine of a times the sine of b. All right. Now notice that we have a plus 2 on the left side and a plus 2 on the right side, so those cancel out, so that's gone. And now I have a cosine of a plus b times the negative 2. If I now multiply everything times the negative 2, or not, not multiply, I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. So divide the left side by negative 2, divide the right side by negative 2. What do I get? On the left side, I end up with a cosine of a plus b is equal to, this divides into that becomes 1, so I end up with a cosine a, cosine b, and this divided into that becomes a minus sine a, sine b. And that is the exact addition formula for the cosine. So the cosine of a plus b is the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine a times the sine b, which is exactly what I had over there. So that's how we prove what we call the addition formula for cosine.